Welcome back guys, I'm Zell, and today we're fixing the modern folder. In this installment, we're working on blade centering. Alright guys, so you've been looking at your knife and the, the blade's riding like this. Riding up against the outside liner. The one opposite the lock bar. Well, this is a problem, but this is probably one of the easiest fixes. You have your pivot screw right here, and this is all we should hopefully have to manipulate. All we're going to do on this particular knife, we have a flat bladed screwdriver that works for the pivot. And we'll look at the tools for other knives here in just a moment. But uh, watch that knife blade. See if I can keep the screwdriver in the hole. See how it just comes right back to center just by tightening that a little bit? And whenever you do that, you're going to want to check action. Make sure that the knife still opens and closes, locks up, and you don't change your blade play. But easiest fix out there. The second thing I found is if you have a knife that has little bushings or washers in it that look like this up on either side of the blade, sometimes those will get burrs on them, especially if they're thick ones. Little thin ones like this, they usually don't. But uh, some of the ones like what Benchmade uses and a couple other companies are pretty good sized washers and they'll have burrs on them. Well, the first thing you do with those and people use different things. I like to use an Arkansas Blackstone. Happens to be what I have. And I just put drop oil on the stone and run that thing around and around on that stone, moving it around on my finger until it starts to run smooth. It starts to run smooth, you can get a look at it. And that one really isn't done, but we're not going to finish it up. If I were done with it and ready to put it back in the knife, it would be all shiny and show a little bit of scuff marks from that stone. But before we put it back in the knife, we want to make sure we put it in the right direction. And I'm going to use this large fender washer as an illustration here, if I can get it to focus. You see the inside of that fender washer, how it's got kind of a little bevel right here. Well, that's because these fender washers and the washers in the knives are punched. Use a big metal punch to punch them out. So the back side is all flat and usually has a ridge right here. This one does. I can feel it with my finger. Well, you want to put this ridge against the liner of the knife so it's not on the knife blade and you want this punch side one where you can run your finger over it and it feels smooth against the knife blade and that just allows the knife blade to move a little freer inside the knife and this will be evident even after you've polished up the washers so once you've got them polished up make sure whenever you assemble the knife that this nice smooth side is against the blade and it may take care of your uh, off-center problems. And the last method we're going to talk about is slightly more complicated. If you had a blade that was sitting like that, you need it to move this way. Well, there's two problems that could be happening. If you Tighten that pivot screw up, get it centered, and then it's so tight it won't do anything or it won't center. Chances are this scale and this scale are misaligned. And to fix that, take the knife and loosen up. Not take them out, just loosen up the body screws, however many they are. You know, if it's an Ontario rat, which they're always properly aligned, 
But if it's an Ontario rat, we'd have, what, eight screws? And at this point, we would loosen the pivot as well. Make sure everything's loose. Take a look at what we have. And then take a, you can take a piece of paper. Paper's not my favorite, but I'll show you my favorite here in a minute. Take a piece of paper and stuff it down in there on the, and push the blade the way you need it to go. All the way as far as it'll go up against the other liner. And there we've used the paper. I'm gonna show you what I like to use. What I like to use is the coffee swizzle stick. Oh, coffee stirrers you have around your office coffee pot. These things will slide in there, especially if you have a full flow through knife, they will slide in there and they're easy to get out and they're not as much in the way as the paper. And the next thing you would do is first tighten up your pivot good and snug. Snugger than you would want it. Now not Gorilla Torque, just very snug. Then tighten down your body screws. And once you've got everything back tight, then you would pull out whatever you were using to hold that over. And see now, we've got this blade all the way over there and everything's tight. So at this point, we can loosen up the pivot screw, get the blade aligned, and we are in great shape. Once again, be sure to check lockup and blade play. Up, down, blade play this way and blade play that way. Make sure that everything's locking up good. And we have a centered knife. One last thing, this is an Emerson knife and Emerson knives use flat blade screwdriver and Phillips head screwdrivers to facilitate somebody being able to repair this in the field, you know, somewhere in the desert or in the jungle or wherever some uh, military personnel might be and not have to have specialty tools. Most knives are not put together with this stuff. Most knives are put together with these. That is a Torx bit, a little hard to see, but it's a five pointed star type affair and they're called Torx. And you can pick them up at just about any hardware store. This happens to be a Bondhus set that I have. And it was picked up on Amazon for, I think, about 20 bucks. And they seem to be pretty good ones. Uh, others that I use are Weehaw. And they're good as well. Guys, I hope that those tips helped you out. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day. And I'll see you next time.